uh, with the Any Sharp Scissors and Pro Sharpener set for £24. Now, you, of course, worked for many years as a master butcher, so you know blades, you know knives. And actually, when you found Any Sharp, that for you was... It was a was, revelation. It was a revelation, yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? I always knew that there was a better, easier way than sharpening a knife than with a regular butcher's steel and a, and a stone and all the rest of it. It's good, it's a lot of mucking about, a lot of clearing up. Yeah. And it would take you probably half an hour to an hour to get a good edge on a blade. Yeah. This will do it in minutes, if not seconds. So you get the sharpener and you get the scissors that we'll talk about, both of them for £24. So how does it work? What makes it right. different? This is new technology and you have to embrace it. Suction base, you stick it down onto your workpiece like that, it doesn't move around, you don't have to hold it. All you need to do is take a knife, any steel bladed knife. Serrated knives, ordinary knives, hardened steel, relatively soft steel. This little knife was around about two pounds from your local supermarket. You simply put it in there, keep the blade upright, slide it through there three or four times. I like to do it about four or five times just when you're first doing it, if it's relatively blunt. I like that your finger's nowhere near the blade. Absolutely. So it's loving safe, doesn't it? Yeah. For someone who's uh, maybe not so steady with your hands, the blade is safe. That's right, yeah. You don't actually touch the sharpener. Um, you just pull the knife through it. Keep the blade upright, and then you get the same angle on both sides. Take your little two-pound knife, and away you go. Wow, you don't okay. need an expensive knife yeah. if all you require is an absolutely razor sharp one. Just pull it through there like that. As I said, it will do your ordinary knives, it will even do your dreaded serrated bread knife. Yes. Now, most manufacturers will tell you that you can't sharpen these, yeah. but it does help people buy more yeah. if they say that. Of course you can sharpen it, put it in there, take the pressure off and just glide it through there. Stroke it through there it's nice and gently. It's quite soft strokes, you're not yeah, really yeah. No, hard, don't press down hard, there is absolutely no need, you won't make the blade any sharper. Always give it a wipe after you've sharpened it, you don't want any debris getting on your food. And away you go, it really is as simple as that. Any type of knife, blade, edge or steel. Now both of the knives that I've done so far are stainless steel. It will do the old-fashioned carbon steel, and just to prove that point, this is a drop forge carbon steel pointing trowel. It's very, very hard. This took me approximately 10 minutes. I'm just doing it just to show you what you can do. Pull it through there, give it a clean, and it will make something like this ah. absolutely is razor sharp. Is this why you were sharp. saying before the show you've got one in the kitchen then one out in the garage? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You use them... Well, they're just a great bit of kit. What they about a ceramic knife? Single time. But do ceramic knives? Unfortunately not. No, okay. Nothing will really sharpen a ceramic knife. I know, knife. they're a bit more rare. Yeah, yeah, that's up. right, yeah. Okay. If you have an expensive knife, this knife was about £80. Oh, yeah, it's look. a professional yeah, whatever, yeah. OK? Put it there, through, put it through there like that, nice and gently, give it a clean, and it will make this incredibly sharp, but it will also stay sharp for an awful lot longer. You know, leading up to Christmas, when we're going to be cooking our meats and our joints and our chickens and turkeys and prepping veg, you know, and also, how long, I mean, maybe you've got a mishmash of knives, you know, you're not quite sure where they came from, but you've got a knife from one house and then, you know, a, a knife that you've inherited from, you know, from a family member, whatever it might be. But actually, these, you can do all of your knives. Now, what about the scissors? Right, scissors are fantastic. They're this shape, it looks a little bit strange. Most people haven't seen scissors like that. The idea of this is it actually keeps your hand away from getting caught up in the cardboard or in the stuff that you're cutting. You just simply put it through there like that. These are are very very efficient one of the leading points on this is they have adjustable tension on the blades so that you can increase or decrease the pressure after you've been using them for a while if they feel like they're slackening off a little bit all you need to do is just tighten them up and you can by the way as you can see uh, if you saw in the arc there you can even crush garlic and crack nuts again great for Christmas when you get your, your satsuma with your nuts in your Christmas stocking. Thank you very much, Steph. 508024 is your item number. Now, we saw, of course, earlier on the men's grooming uh, stocking filler. 400 of you have ordered this. It's a brilliant price at 